Hello Salesforce enthusiasts, you are watching Long Switch Academy. Welcome back to our Salesforce Flows for Beginners course. I'm your host Shubham, and in today's video, we'll explore the different types of Salesforce Flows. By the end of this session, you'll understand the various types of flows available and when to use each one. Let's get started. There are several types of Salesforce Flows, each designed for specific use cases. The main types of flows are Number 1 is screen flows. These types of flows are used for user interaction. Number 2 is schedule triggered flows. These types of flows run at specified times and intervals. Number 3 is record triggered flows. These types of flows are triggered by changes to Salesforce records. Number 4 is platform event triggered flows. These types of flows are triggered by platform events. Number 5 is auto launched flows. These types of flows are run automatically when invoked by another process. Let's take a closer look at each type. Let's understand the screen flows. Screen flows are used to guide users through a series of screens, collecting information and performing actions based on user input. They are ideal for processes that require user interaction, such as filling out forms or providing step-by-step -step instructions. For example, you can create a screen flow to guide sales representatives through the process of creating a new opportunity. The flow can prompt the user to enter necessary information, such as the opportunity name, amount, and close date, ensuring that all required fields are filled out correctly. Let's understand the schedule triggered flows. Schedule triggered flows run at specified times and intervals, making them ideal for automating tasks that need to be performed regularly. You can set a flow to run daily, weekly, or monthly, based on your requirements. For instance, you can create a schedule triggered flow to send a weekly report to your sales team. The flow can generate the report and send it via email at the same time every week, ensuring that your team always has the latest information. Let's understand the record triggered flows. Record triggered flows are triggered by changes to Salesforce records. They can run before or after a record is created, updated, or deleted. These flows are perfect for automating actions that need to occur in response to specific record changes. For example, you can create a record triggered flow to send a notification to the sales manager when a high value opportunity is closed. The flow can be triggered when the opportunity stage is updated to closed one and send an email to the manager with the details. Let's understand the platform event triggered flows. Platform event triggered flows are triggered by platform events. These flows are used to automate processes that need to respond to events occurring within Salesforce or external systems. For instance, you can create a platform event triggered flow to update a customer's subscription status when a payment is processed. The flow can be triggered by a platform event generated by the payment system, updating the customer's record accordingly. Let's understand the auto launched flows. Auto-launched flows run automatically when invoked by another process, such as a process builder, Apex, or another flow. They do not require user interaction and are ideal for background processes. For example, you can create an auto-launched flow to update related records when a parent record is updated. The flow can be called by a process builder when the parent record changes, automatically updating the related records based on predefined criteria. In summary, Salesforce offers several types of flows, each suited for different use cases. Understanding these types will help you choose the right flow for your business process automation needs. In the next video, we'll dive into creating and configuring screen flows. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified about our next video.